Your step should be going straight downhill, inside out like this. Because in case this guy gets blocked down right here, you're right off his butt. I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, your seniors, okay, your seniors had uh, come up with some type of goals for the year. For us, I think this is most important right here because, again, if we're not focusing on getting that CIF championship, what are we doing this for? Helping others leave this place, making sure that you're out in the world giving. Prior to this, uh, I was at Nogales High School. Um, you know, we were doing our same type of growing pains. First year, we were two and eight. Second year, four and six. Third year, we started seeing the turn. Um, we had an eight and two team, and then the last year, we were 10 and two. I think the, the Fullerton guys have been great with, with helping me in the transition. So I think we're gonna be a solid, a solid group. We're trying to do different things. Uh, I think uh, with the mindset binders, I think that was a, a little bit of, um, we had a little apprehension on. You know, they weren't too, like, uh, happy about us, you know, talking to them about, you know, being real men of character. There's more buy-in um, from when we started, um, and I think that it just attributes to just staying consistent. You got a nice little breeze. Yeah. We didn't have this before. Another you know, protocol for us is making sure the kids are are safe and making sure they're uh, they're well taken care of. And you know, district provides this for us, and it's a great tool for us to used during practice, so minimize any type of injury. Triple me, triple three, one, two, three. Go. 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 Our new coaching staff, I actually like them a lot because not only they teach us the fundamentals and everything, but they actually get out there and work with us. Like some coaches just tell you to do something, be like, expect you to do it. In my household and family, we always talk about going to church and it takes a village to teach one another and all that. So when I come here, I kind of get that same feeling here. Set, go. Good, 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 here we go, here we go. Uh, he's been an honest and good coach and he tries to get things done right. And instead of when we mess go. up, instead of good, good, yelling at us, he tries to help us out. His view on things is a lot different than our old coaches. And I think it's like, it shakes things up a little bit and it's like improves the way we can all kind of buy into it. The coaches staff at the beginning, it was a little hard to get used to, it. I mean, at the beginning, but at, as we move on, I mean, we're starting to get a little bit better with the coaches staff, starting to develop relationships with them and get to know more about them. It's different, but everyone's adjusting to it. Uh, I like it more. We do uh, more stuff like together as a team and uh, we're getting together all in. As you can notice, he, got his, he has his shoes off. Um, the main thing is really get him to, to build the muscles in his feet. What I'm looking for out of him right now is to make sure that there's body control. Um, again, developing the, the muscle memory with his legs and, and, and everything that when he's going from left to right, that there's some kind of, he's feeling it in the ground. Uh, Gavin, uh, he's a tremendous uh, size and, and he's got great ability. Um, it's, it's crazy how, how fast this guy can move uh, for such a big body. His arm strength is, is second to none. I've seen him make the deep throws on the, on the out routes, and um, I watched him uh, uh, make his reads and transitioning again, different offenses, um, you know, making the reads. He's, he's, he's adapted, he's smart. Noel Posey, another great athlete, linebacker, running back. Um, the guy is explosive, um, strong. Uh, again, another guy that definitely we're going to be depending on, on, on helping this team be successful. You look good, you play good. And I always try to look good, so. And from my highlights, looks like I play good too. I actually dyed my hair my sophomore year. Being red is just different. That's how I express myself, just do stuff with my hair, the way I dress, something, just something about me. Jeremiah Smith, uh, he's the utility man, I call him. Uh, he can play safety, he can play receiver. If you need him to go down in the box, he can go down in the box as a linebacker. Um, definitely you can tell there's, there's talent there and um, we're looking for a big year from him. Without a lot of bodies, we have to like, all kind of buy into it and we got to like, push ourselves because we know we're, a lot of us are going to be going two, three ways. 
So we gotta like double like the work we're putting in to make sure we can last the four quarters. Do you like playing both ways? Yeah, I think it's exciting because you get a lot more time to make highlights and stuff. Other teams, they have a lot more players. Everyone has to be in the top shape and everything. Do you like playing both ways? Yeah, it's fun. I, I love football. I don't know what else I'd do without it. Let's go! Let's go! Run it through! Run! There's three things that we don't want. It's blame. What's the other one? Complain, Complain. Complain or defend your actions right now. Okay. Again, we're all in a in a crappy state right now. I don't. This is this isn't fun for me, but it's necessary. Look around you. There's not a lot of players right there, right? There's not a lot of opportunity, right? There's got to be guys that are asked to do multiple things. Okay. Get a break, guys. Get a break, Garcia. Call me, Charles three, one, two, three. Try. Try.